Hey everybody, it's Joe from the Jeep Shop. Good afternoon, how are you? Hey, real quick one for you today. Have uh, got a couple parts here I'm gonna be slapping into 4.0. Uh, spark plugs, distributor cap, and rotor. Not sure when they've been replaced, but uh, we're gonna go take a look, see what they look like, but they're gonna get replaced. Our friends at, uh, not sponsored, our friends at Rock Auto gave us some quality parts, and I'll include a picture of all the parts here. Um, that you'll need, uh, basically spark plugs and a distributor cap and a rotor. And the easy thing about this is the only three tools you need, I'm looking down at my parts here on the floor, is uh, the screwdriver to take off the two uh, retaining bolts for the uh, distributor cap and uh, a 5 8 let me show you here, 5 8 swivel top. Oh, look at that swivel top. Uh, 5 8 wrench uh, to take the spark plugs off. And then uh, six spark plugs, because it's a 4.0 six cylinder. And of course, everybody's favorite, a little bit of anti-seize. I usually throw a little bit on the threads, throw them in a the block. Um, I don't have any um, stuff for the tip of the uh, spark plug um, dielectric grease, but I'll just, have to, I'll just have to go on about my business and maybe put it on later. But uh, just a quick video, um, it's a 4.0 motor. Just gonna stick six spark plugs in there and uh, I'll walk you through it. So. Uh, Let's get started. Okay, first things first is we're going to take the distributor cap off. And the easiest way to do it is I'm going to take the uh, new distributor cap and I'm going to orient it in the way that this current distributor cap is set up. And I'm going to take off one wire at a time. Um, I'm sure if I had the firing order and all that nonsense, uh, I'd be able to do it real simple. but. Uh, no point in making things complicated. I'm just going to basically take the distributor cap in my hand here and go on ahead and uh, just do one wire at a time. Always kind of keeping focus on uh, cylinder number one, which I believe is right here. It's been a while since I've done these. I've had uh, 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 ignition coils uh, my last Jeep, so it's been a while since I've changed uh, spark plugs in a uh, distributor cap and rotor um, setup. But um, same principle applies basically. You just you just want to kind of uh, take the new distributor cap and do one wire at a time. And I'll show you what that looks like. So here's the new distributor cap right here. Looks all nice and shiny. And I'll tell you what, man, they even gave me new bolts too. That's pretty civilized. Usually you never get new bolts. You're always worried about losing them under the Jeep. But uh, what we're going to do here is just go ahead and uh, take one wire off and put it on. Don't lose those screws, Joe. We're going to take one off at a time. And I believe if I do it here you'll be able to see I'm gonna move this just a little bit here and get you in here and this is riveting stuff folks all right so you'll see here there's that little black button right there can you see it I mean look I'm just looking here hold on here there's like a little black button and all these cords are in the way and hoses and whatnot but basically this guy right here I'm just going to match it up to that the one that's on a jeep now to the um to the new one so i mean you can take these out of your way what have you but um so it's oriented this way and i'm just going to tell you take one by one gotta be careful you don't want to pull anything off five to go all right obviously the center one that's that's not a mystery you know maybe at this time too you can kind of um clean these wires up a little bit too if they're all cross thread cross threaded all jimmy jammed up with each other you can uh, go on ahead and uh, take time to um get them all lined up with each other okay there's this one right here I don't know, can you see this i want to give some good video here doing a clockwise counterclockwise way however you want to do it Get this dipstick out of the way. And then once you get them all set in, you can take one off at a time to kind of kind of line them up nice, right? All right, I'm not going to bore you with uh, two and six lines, but. Uh, I'll bring it back once we're done. 
Okay, so we have six wires, including the coil in the center, all plugged in. Remember, we just did one for one, just taking one off at each time. And once we have the cap off, you have the rotor. And you can see there, a little, little worn out there. Rotor only goes on one way and it's not bolted in and you just kind of gently pick it up. It comes out very quietly, very nicely. And it only goes on one way, it's keyed right here so you can it can only go on one way so let's take a look okay so that's definitely uh worn yeah i don't know if you can see you can see some carbon build up here i'm gonna go touch this here yeah it was definitely in need of replacement i mean it's been running great but uh you know regular routine maintenance dictates that you change the distributor cap and rotor and I gotta tell you, man, I really do enjoy uh, being in a vehicle that is a distributor cap and rotor. You know, it's old school, it's clean, it's easy, it works. It's worked for centuries. Cavemen were using distributor cap and rotor. Oh, I'm that caveman. 1600s, they were using distributor caps and rotors. Come on, people. So in there, carbon buildup, very normal stuff. Part of a uh, carbon footprint. Just say no to carbon, folks, right? Yeah, it's all in there. And a little button on top. Spring-loaded, if you will. Pretty fancy stuff. About 1.21 gigawatts worth of electricity gets bu gets burned through here at every firing. So, all right. So that's the old one. Made in USA. That's what I'm talking about right there. Bet you the Rock Auto ones probably don't say that. I wonder how to say. Where is it made? This is United Automotive. Nice eagle. Oh, check it out. Okay. Division of Cleveland, Ohio. Not made in. Oh, gee whiz. Doesn't tell you. Hold on. Maybe the label does. No. Nope. This says this is will uh, cause cancer in California. This will? California. You serious? Distributor cap? Well, shit. <laughs> Probably should have been wearing my respirator and some gloves. I mean, uh, wish I would have read that before I touched it. Uh, shit's too late now, man. Just keep on moving forward. That's all you can do. All right, so what we're going to do right now is <laughs> blow some of that dust around there, and uh, we're going to put the rotor on. As you can see, the rotor has that little key slot inside. And when you go to install it, it can only go on one way. Watch the wires. God! kidding all right don't don't force it in don't go in gun will you no i got everybody watching all right hold on there yeah okay yeah, just a little just a little tight here there you go not as loose as the last one but the last one Probably was in there for a couple thousand miles. All right, just making sure. Just press it in, pull it out, press it in again. I know it's, I'm trying to get you seasick here, people. All right, she's in. Let's make sure it tabs up a little bit. Make sure it, make good, it makes good contact. And you'll see the two bolt holes. There's one there, there's one there. And all we're going to really do... Go ahead and reinstall. All right, I'll need two hands to put the screws in, but this data, it just screws in. Oh boy. All right, I'm gonna get this bad boy screwed in and I'll bring you back for uh, spark plug time, okay? Okay, one screw is in and I'm just gonna take some, take some time to put the other one in since there's two of them. Figured I might as well do both. Ha ha ha. Oh man, I made myself a uh, fruit smoothie with uh, spinach. spinach, spinach, banana, yogurt, uh, mangoes, mangoes are awesome, and uh, strawberry, frozen strawberries, and uh, I'll tell you, that's pretty good, figured, uh, oh, for the love of Moses, I think I missed it, yeah, I missed it, okay, no problem, I want to keep screwing this here and nothing's happened, um, 
Fruit smoothies are good, right? You get all your fruit in like basically one sitting, which is awesome. Come on now. Uh, Jeep, you're killing me, I tell you. Slowly but surely they kill you. Speaking of killing me, I did uh, <laughs> made the mistake last night. I said, well, you know, I just got done doing the rare springs. And I tell you, I wish I had a video for that, but... Uh, can you see me? Yeah. I wish I had a video for that. But it was raining when I put them in, and I didn't really like what I did. And so there's no there's no video for that. So I figured I'd do my U-joints real quick. And uh, yeah, Sunday night, about 5 o'clock, I'll start. I should be done by 6. Jesus, let me tell you what, man. U-joints suck. I couldn't... I, I couldn't... The two... The two... Uh, the two little spring clippies and, and the one that hooks up to the differential, they broke off because they were rusted. I tried everything, heat, cutoff wheels, everything. I used every tool in my 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 lunchbox, <laughs> every tool in my toolbox to get those things out. Finally got them out, I persevere because what do we do Jeep, Jeep owners? We always win, the Jeeps never win, we always win. And uh, oh, my, big ass, my big ass head's in the way. All right, I think I'd screwed down. So, playing with the U-joints, and it's just not going my way. I get the one side in, the other side won't fit the clip in. I get the other side in, the other side clip won't go in. It, it was just a nightmare. Finally got the one side of the differential in, and then the other side's pissing me off. It won't go in. I get it tight on one side. The other side starts loosening up. So, basically, <laughs> I, I kid you not, it was probably four hours to do two U-joints. Uh, I'm going to take my, uh, next time I'm taking my drive shafts to a, uh, a transmission shop and having them do it. I just don't have the patience anymore. It's 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 definitely not fun. I'm sure you can all assimilate or at least appreciate the fact how much fun these um, U joints are because uh, it ain't easy. It ain't easy being a Jeep owner. You guys all know that. All right. Next up is uh, we're gonna do some spark plugs. But first, I have to get my spark plug gapper. Okay. In keeping with the same philosophy of before of doing one at a time, we'll go on ahead and do one spark plug at a time. The reason why I'm starting with number three is because it's one you can see a little bit easier. You can see right here, that's spark plug number three. So we'll just take the boot out real fast. Making sure you don't break it. Pulling out the spring inside. Don't ever pull by just the cord. Okay, looks good in there. Looks can you see how, how good it looks in there? Say, oh, spark plug boot. Oh, my hands are really dirty. Gosh. All right, got a five eighths. Right there, nice. Five eighths. Five eighths. Where are we at here? And there you go. You can see it doesn't look too bad. Still has a. Uh, part of the electrode left so I say that's not too bad can't tell how old this is it's not running bad not running hot not burning sexy crap all over this oh my gosh look like I got a tissue right here all right so we'll set this bad boy aside making sure you don't put the wrench next to the positive and negative battery terminal that would be interesting and the spark plug gap on these is 0 0.035. So you take your spark plug gapper, get in the zone, everybody. Not a sponsor. And we just go on ahead and 0 0.35. 0 0.35 right there. Okay, this isn't a nitrous funny car. It could be 0.36 if we want to. But 0.35. What I like to do is first uh, get it in the, uh, get it in this first. Cause you definitely don't want to cross thread a spark plug. You figure you're not going to cross thread it with your hands. And just tighten it down enough to give it some love. And then we just gently replace the spark plug wire keeping in mind that if it's behind another spark plug wire or tucked behind there, there'd be a better way you can get it in. 
we'll go ahead and take care of that now. Again, one of the time philosophy. And if you line if you line up the spark plug wires, I've read on the internet that the, the, the energy flows a lot better if it's in a straight line. It adds about what 30 or 40 horsepower to these things. That's what I've read. It's on the internet. It has to be true. No, it may be 50 horsepower. Ah, I'm teasing you, everybody. I'm teasing. 40 horsepower. Electricity doesn't care if it travels in a straight line or in a curl. It doesn't really matter. All right. Um, I'm not going to do all six uh, or all five on video because that's somewhat boring. But I'll bring you back uh, when we're just about wrapping up the last one. And spark plug number six is going in, folks. She's going in. Just enough tightness right before the ceramic snaps. <laughs> das boot. Make it quick, folks. Wires look pretty good. Wire management is definitely... Check they have all six. Be odd if it was five or less. Or more for that matter, more than six. Okay, everything's tight, everything looks good. All I touched were spark plugs, wires, distributor cap, and rotor. I didn't touch anything else, so. All right, let's zoom you out here. Let's get you set up so you can watch the Jeep motor start or implode, one or the other. There we go. socket set away from that fan oh and the one thing i did forget on the first spark plug was to put anti-seize on it so i did go back and put anti-seize on that one and uh, did the rest of it as well about does it for today's episode of jeep maintenance happiness is a box of used parts so some people say keep it because you never know um, some people say toss it because you have new ones i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do with this but uh maybe i'll keep it for a little bit maybe i'll make a uh, art project out of it give it to the kids want a rotor anybody but uh, hey thanks for tuning in click like subscribe Hit that bell so you can get notified next time I put on one of these uh, brilliant uh, mechanical uh, expertise uh, videos. Expertise, yeah. I am definitely a certified YouTube mechanic. There's no doubt in my mind. But uh, look, folks, you know, just like everybody else, you know, we want to bring our, our love and appreciation for the Jeep brand. Uh, keep these bad boys alive. This thing's a 1999. It's 2019. It's 20 years old. Hell, it's older than me, for God's sake. But... Um, you know, it, 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 three, four dollars for the rotor, a couple bucks for the spark plugs, and uh, she's a happy, she's a happy Jeep. You know, that's really the name of the game. So uh, I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, leave your comments below, uh, comments, criticisms, praises, love letters, uh, fan mail, uh, whatever you want. But uh, I read them all, and I sub I, I reply to um, all of my emails as well. So take care of yourself, take care of your Jeep, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Thank you.